just, I don't know why Hoka did this. The need to change something when there's no need to change it, I think is the problem here. So these shoes on my left are the Hoka Speed Goat 4s. These shoes on my right are the Hoka Speed Goat 5s. Yes, they look a little worn. I guess that's because I actually use them and they've actually been tested. So you know what I'm talking about is true and from the heart. I did a video way back when that you can see linked up in this card above me if you want to check it out about the Hoka Speed Goat 4s being the perfect hiking shoe. I mean, I love these shoes. I started with the traditional hiking boots. I found trail runners, eventually led me to these shoes and I just loved them. These are my third pair of Hoka Speed Goat 4s. Now, with these shoes, I don't just hike in them. These are my everyday wear shoes. I go trail running in the shoes. I use these shoes a lot. I mean, they're not just for hiking for me. You can see that these Speed Goat 4s are pretty worn down, but these last me a whole year, or at least did last me a whole year. After a year of use, this is what it looks like. And honestly, you could still use them. There's a few holes and stuff in the lining, but they're still pretty good to go. I met a hiker once in the Wind Rivers that told me that they liked Hoka's, they just hated that they broke down so quickly. And I was baffled by that statement. These things did not break down whatsoever. A few years later, I go hiking with someone who had watched that video with those shoes that I recommended and they were wearing a pair of these. These are the Hoka Speed Goat 5s. Why, if I recommend the Speed Goat 4s, wouldn't the newer version be just as good or even better? So they went ahead and bought them. And right away when I saw them, my spidey senses were raised. So I held off on getting them. I went back and found the last pair of Speed Goat 4s I could find, but the day eventually came where I couldn't hold out any longer. They no longer make these. It's only the Speed Goat 5s, so I went ahead and bought a pair of them. Now remember I said that these I wore for a year. These I'm going on three months. And as you can see already, the kind of damage that has been done to them, they are already falling apart. I think the lady in the winds was right. Maybe Hoka traditionally do fall apart. The sole is coming off. There's a big hole in the side that feels like they're gonna rip. This tongue is falling apart. I'm gonna get to more on that. So right away, first off, I am not liking how these shoes are breaking down. Now I know these are trail runners, but if you go on Hoka's website, they do advertise these as hiking shoes. I think they know that these are made for hiking. They make them with Gore-Tex. They make them in a midsole. They even make them for hiking in snow now. So they definitely got the message that people like hiking in them. So I would think that designing, going from the four to the five, they would add hiking features. Um, they did not. The first thing you notice with these is this really stupid, I mean stupid, heel that the Speed Goat 5s have. These are the Speed Goat 4s. As you can see, they lay flush to your heel. Why is this necessary? I'll tell you what it does. What it does is it acts as a nice little funnel for dirt and debris. So when you're hiking, all that dirt and rocks and stuff can just funnel right back in here into your heel. What? Like, how can you not just look at that and know that that's what it's gonna do? What is this for, to help you get it on? These weren't hard to get on in the first place. So we've got the wear, we've got the heel. Now let's look at the tongue. The tongue on the Speed Goat 4 is really, I mean, just a basic tongue. I mean, keep it simple, right? Still looks good. It's not very exposed. It's really low. Look at the tongue on this thing. Oh my gosh, what is this, a bat signal? Why do you need this? And the edges of it are just fabric, just this really like soft, stupid fabric. That's just, again, after three months, it's wearing down. You know why? Cause it just sticks out of your shoe like an extra loose sock. It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't protect you at all. See how this one just like, it grabs your shin. It hugs it so nothing can get in there. Nothing hurts it. It makes it sturdier. This is just wide open. It's just a, 
It's just a mess. I just noticed the tread on this is already failing too. It's really, I, I don't get it. If you hold them, I don't know, it kind of feels like maybe the new Speed Goats are a hair lighter, but if it's gonna make the shoe that fragile by going down that non-noticeable amount of weight, it is not worth it, Hoka, I hate to tell you. I just noticed that the back of the heel on the Speed Goat 4 has a little thing to help you get your foot in, see? Not necessary. That you can't even grip on, Hoka. Arr! So there you have it, the perfect example of trying to do too much and not knowing when to stop. Will I abandon Hoka? Probably not. I'll give him one more chance. But Hoka, if you me again, I'm going to Ultra. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.